Hello. Um, my name's Kathy. I'm a sophomore at the University of Michigan studying uh, computer science and history. Today I will be reading you guys a story. The story is called Sky Scare. It's by Bobby Bobby J J G and David Cody Weiss. Us uh, Sky Scare is um something I think all of you guys will relate to. The Sky Scare is about facing your own fears, and I think all of us have one at least one kind of fear. And it shows you that fears should not be so scary and that you should be able to face them all one day. Hmm. Let's start. Chapter 1, Sam's Nightmare. Otto, Reggie, Twister, help me! Sam Dullard, wake up with a start. Whoa, he saw. What a nightmare. Good morning, sleepy dude, Auto Rocket called to Sam. Is everybody ready to fly high today? Let's do it, Rocket Boy, uh, said Otto's sister, Reggie. And I'm going to capture it all on my Twister Vision Sky Scam, promised their friend, Twister Rodriguez. Hurry up and get dressed, Squidman, Twister told Sam. Raimundo is waiting. Raimundo was Ray Rocket, Reggie's and Otto's dad. Ray and his friends, uh, Tito Makani, had driven the kids to Vista Cliffs to camp and go hang gliding. Talk about an extreme adventure. Sam, although, had only one problem. Sam was afraid of heights. Everybody already thinks I'm the face plant king, he thought. Why am I so, so afraid? I, I want to be brave like they are. But Sam didn't feel very brave. What am I going to do, he wondered. Chapter 2, Hawk Talk Ray and his friend Hawk were waiting in the clearing. Hawk was the president of the Skyhawk Club and knew all there there was to know about hang gliding. We are going tandem flying, Hawk explained. That means you'll ride in a glider designed to carry two people, you and a Skyhawk pilot. You'll wear helmets, gloves, and a parachute in case of emergency, Hawk continued. We got uh, buwa conditions today, which means flying will be good. Hawk smiled, so let's go. Nobody wants to be a launch potato. Mm. Otto and Reggie ran, each ran toward a glider. What's the wait, boys? Hawk asked Twister and Sam, who hadn't moved. I want to get some juicy shots of Otto and Reggie taking off first, explained Twister. Hawk turned to Sam. You're my flight partner, Sam. Do you want to strap in now? Uh, I want to watch the launches too, said Sam. Ramuno is flying solo, said Twister. What about you, Tito? Oh, I don't fly anymore, little cuz, Tito replied. As the ancient Hawaiians said, the seagulls soars where the whale cannot. I'm going to set up my first shot, Twister said. Man, can you believe we have to leap over a cliff to launch? What a rush. Sam gulped. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, really stoked. Chapter 3, Launch Time. Look out, flying dudes, here I go, said, shouted Otto as he and his pilot ran towards the cliff. Go, Otto, go! Go, Otto, go! Everyone cheered. Twister filmed the launch with his video camera. And we're off, Otto shouted from the sky with glee. Then it was Reggie's turn. Woohoo! She laughed. See you, groundhogs, later. 
Sam moaned to himself, oh, I can't do this. Twister scrambled up a tree with his camera. Hey, little cuz, Tito called up to Twister. What are you doing? I want to video Ramuno's jump from up here, replied Twister. It'll make an awesome shot. Next, it was Ray's turn. Kawanga, he whooped as he leaped off the cliff. Race an eagle for me, bro, Tito called to his friend. What a shot, Twister said happily. This is going to be my best. Uh-oh, Twister lost his balance. Help, he cried, tumbling out of a tree. Chapter 4, Totally Twisted Twister. Man, this is bogus, Twister complained as Hawk bandaged his ankle. Can I still go hang gliding? Sorry, buddy, Hawk replied. It wouldn't be safe. I'm sorry, Twist, said Sam, as he wished deep inside he was the one with the twisted ankle. Here you go, Squidman, said Twister, handling his camera to Sam. I'm counting on you. Me, Sam squealed. You want me to film stuff from up in the air? Don't worry, Sam, said Hawk. You'll get some good shots. Maybe we'll even catch a sermon and spec out. He smiled at Sam's confused look. That means we go so high we look like a little speck to anyone, anybody down here. You'll get some great video. Sam thought to himself, yeah, or hurl. Finally, the big moment came. I can do this, Sam told himself. I can do it. But just before they reached the cliff... Sam yelled, stop! I can't do this! Mr. Hawk, Sam began to explain. I... I'm afraid of heights. Why didn't you tell anyone, said Hawk? I wanted to, but... Well, I was trying to be brave. Brave. When Hawk didn't laugh at him, Sam added, and I didn't want to let Twister down. Sam sighed, and now I let both of us down. Chapter 5. One with the birds. Later, Tito sa found Sam sitting by himself. Hawk told me why you didn't fly to, began. Don't feel bad, little cuz. Here, a feather? Asked Sam. This isn't just any feather, Tito explained. Remember, I used to hang glide too, Tito said. And when I carried this good luck feather, it gave lightness to my being and bravery to my heart. With it, I could fly like an angel. Flying isn't just something you do, little cuz, Tito went on. It's something you feel. When you're high in the air, your spirit is free to soar. Wow, that's very cool, said Sam, taking the feather in his hand. Okay, I'll give it another try. How can Sam once again strap into the glider? Sam closed his eyes. I can do it. I can do it. He saw it as he held tightly to Tito's good luck feather. Go, Sam, go. Go, Sam, go, cheered Tito and the Skyhawks as the pair ran toward the edge of the cliff and leaped off. Suddenly, everything became quiet. Sam opened his eyes and gasped. Oh, it's beautiful up here, he exclaimed. Just then, the glider dipped with the wind, and the feather fell out of Sam's hand. Oh no, cried Sam as his fear came rushing back. Mr. Hawk, we have to go back. Please stop. Help!
Chapter 6, Flying Free Easy there, Sam, Hawk said, his voice sure is steady. Flying's new to you, that's all. If you're scared, all you have to do is howl. Howl, Sam asked. When you howl, you give fear you, you give your fear to the wind, Hawk explained, and I'll start. And you join in. Woo! howled Hawk. Sam felt silly, but he was willing to try. Woo! He howled. The volley echoed their cries. Sam heard him and began to laugh. My fear is, is in the wind, my spear is soaring, Sam thought. Man, flying is great. At the worst, Tito congratulated Sam. But I lost your good luck feather, Sam confessed. Don't worry, said Tito, a smile spreading across his face. It was just a feather I found on the ground this morning. You mean it didn't have a special power, Sam asked, surprised. Tito shrugged. Who's to say? It worked, didn't it? Next day. Back. Up. Oh. <laughs> The next day, back in Ocean Shores, Sam showed the video to his friends. Whoa, said Twister. Did that eagle fly right next to you, Squidman? Yep, replied Sam proudly. Hey, Rocket Girl, Otto says to his sister. Love that this shot qualifies you for the... Hmm. For the year award. Well, I'm going to outfly all you guys when we go hang gliding again next month, Twister bragged. Just have to save the trees till then, okay? Tito told him. Just then, a strange sound started coming from the TV. Say, what is that noise? asked Ray. Sam knew what it was. The video microphone had picked up his howling of Hawk, but Sam didn't tell anybody. Well, whatever it is, you did a good job with that video, Sam. Only good, Sam said Sam. I think I did a howling good job. B N. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you.